Welcome back to another video and today is something I actually haven't done in a long time. I have not made a snapshot video in the longest time. All right, so we're, we're going to do that now. I'm a little bit late to this. Sure, sure. But this is actually a block I'm actually interested in. A block I like. A block that they should have probably added a while ago. A block that's actually going to get me into redstone. Uh, so this is probably going to be the most least effort video I make this week. And this, there's only going to be one video this week uh, today because I'm only able to get one video this week. At least I'm able to get some content out today. So with that being said, um, this is called the crafter. And obviously, most of you guys probably already seen the crafter. The crafter is a nice little block, okay? It's an automatic crafter, basically. And there's going to be a lot to uh, to, to go through in this video. I really just want to uh, tell you that the way I do redstone here is 100%. <laughs> it's so inefficient. I could probably do this better, maybe with observer blocks, probably. It's kind of, it's kind of similar to another YouTuber's. I, I just... I tried to uh, put something together like an auto crafter that will auto craft planks into something and then it, it, it didn't go very well. So with that being said, this is the crafter and the crafter is crafted like this, right? You can grab this, right? You can grab all this and of course you would need a dropper, right? I usually don't use this. I, I, I like to do it old school, right? So you can go ahead, you can put the dropper in and you can put the crafter and you'll get the crafter, right? It's great. So what we have here is two pieces of log that I stole from that tree, which is why I went into survival. <laughs> so the interface is interesting of this whole crafter situation thing, right? You can put the item in the crafter, but you can't grab it. You have to give it, so you have to give it a redstone signal, right? We can, we can go ahead and craft these into planks and grab a button, right? And if we want to put the item in here and put the button, we can go ahead and get the item. It needs to have a redstone signal, of course. We can also cr create, you know, sticks, right? Now, this is manual, basically, and you want to get in probably to the redstone. So, obviously, if you left-click the, or right, left, or it doesn't matter, you can disable these slots, which will allow you to put them in. That means if you have these feeding through a hopper, they can't go through. The hopper will not will only put it in the slots that aren't disabled, but if you do these, then the hopper will put it into the slots again like that you can go ahead and put that and bam you got you know cool you got sticks right that is the basics of how the crafter really works i mean in on all honesty that seems a little bit more of a manual situation there um i don't understand how you would really use that other than just this right well that comes to the, all the redstone stuff right so we have a a line of nine redstone plus the repeater so we can go back to give it power you probably do this in a certain way it all depends on how it works and how your redstone contraption is going to be but this is definitely the i would say it's it's the most inefficient way to do this but this is just a way of showing how it works so here we have a diamond sword that we, that we want to create right and if we want to create a diamond sword, we are going to want to disable the six on the side. Now, doing that will make the comparator give a signal of six redstone. Now, a full redstone thing is 15. I believe it's 15. And then, then you're going to have an extra three. So if we add extra three items into this crafter, it's going to give us a signal and we will get what we want. So... We can go ahead and get put the stick on there, and we can put the sword, and we get the sword. That's because when we put the items in there, we got the extra three redstone signals, and it went all the way around and gave us a signal to the crafter, and we got this. So that's actually really cool, but there is better ways you can do this. Now, the diamond sword method is a pain in the ass. I tried all my might to make a crafter situation, to make planks and the sticks and then the sticks to go into the crafter and then the diamonds to go in the right spot, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. I wanted to rip my hair out. That's why this video is the only video coming out because this video is the one that I took the time to actually learn. I want to learn redstone as much as I can uh, because redstone's uh, really interesting and plus normally when I make my redstone worlds, I always have that redstone trash can where you use a hopper, a dropper, and a bucket of lava, and everyone else is using their 
lava pools and they're dying in them. And I'm over here with a little bit of redstone knowledge. Not too much, but enough to understand. Anyways, the crafter right here, we have sand and we have gunpowder. Now, Captain Sparkles did this, okay? I just, it's a great, it's a great explanation, right? If, if I unlock these, uh, these two hoppers right here, they're gonna go in in a certain way. So if we put a, a comparator right here and we put a total of nine, a total of nine until it dies out, right? That's a total of nine. That means this is all full and it w is going to give a redstone signal. So we can put a uh, repeater right here and we can have it come back around and we're gonna actually have it come up. It's, it's just, a, it's just a, a way of showing like how it's gonna work, right? Now we can have it do that, all right? But you run into problems on that it only crafted one <laughs> because I probably did something wrong. Something locked itself. So that's what happened. That's why this is just right here. This this part is just a demonstration and there's probably a better way that you can do this. This right here is a nice little diamond uh, block making uh, little station thing right here. So in all honesty, this right here would be ground level most likely and then this would probably be your basement to where you can probably get your diamond blocks but who's mining this much diamonds this is probably the most inefficient thing ever so i have a whole bunch of diamonds in here and they're not feeding into these hoppers right here because the they're being locked by these redstone torches uh, once I unlock them, they will go into these crafters right here, and then the crafter will go ahead and send a signal all the way around, like so, and it'll put them in here. So if I unlock the, if I power up pretty much just the whole thing, right, we should get a diamond block, and they should be filling in this whole thing right here. And it is really, really slow. Of course, you can probably speed this up. But yeah, this is the slowest like little way and there's probably a more uh, sufficient and faster way you can build this. I don't, I'm not a redstone builder. I, I'm barely even a Minecraft player, okay? So with that being said, this is the crafter and it is a really interesting block. I love the idea of this block. This is gonna be a really, this is gonna be a short video of explaining like how it works. I, if you guys wanna see more about it, maybe I'll try to make something of, um, of this. I really like the idea of it. I really like the, the, the nice, it's it's such a really nice block. Like the I, the little thing right here is that when you power it, it, it gives off a nice little redstone signal. Like this thing lights up. It, it's really cool. It, I think it's cool. So yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's awesome. And it's actually one of the most interesting blocks that actually got me to pique my attention to Minecraft uh, for the longest time, honestly. I'm honestly actually kind of excited for like how I can learn redstone with this with this block. But before I do that, I'm gonna have to figure out all the other redstone. <laughs> and that's gonna be starting out with the basics of learning how to be more efficient when it comes to certain things. So see, we already got 26 blocks of, 26 blocks of uh, diamonds here. And this is going to keep going on unless if I sit here and I lock the hoppers. And again, this is like the most simplest thing, right? And it's just, I don't know. Redstone is a headache sometimes. Oh, things break or you, you have, you're on the right track, but you just, you got to pinpoint. You have to have a degree in engineering to be a redstone engineer. <laughs> so yeah. With that being said, that has been the crafter, everybody. I really do like this block. It's really interesting, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to get into redstone just because of this block. I really want to... I've been wanting to get into redstone for a while now. And with that, this with this block being added, there's a lot of possibilities. You can add farms. You can add a, a, a wheat farm, and then the wheat farm could funnel into hoppers making bread and you can you can have a automatic bread crafter this is it's amazing you can do it if you can figure it out um maybe maybe i'll i will try to build something similar to that uh if i ever make a, another video about the crafter which if i do i'm thinking i should i i would probably try to do that make a wheat farm and then after you make the wheat farm have a nice little hopper minecart thing going on automatic bread crafter that'd be dope so, yeah, with that being said, this has been The Crafter. This has been Minecraft Snapshot 20W whatever. I I 43A, I believe. It's 20, 23W40. I, I, it's something like that. It's something like that. Along those lines, I I will say. And this is 
this is really interesting block and i definitely want to get into redstone because just because of this block so yeah with that being said uh this is gonna be a short video so thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you guys in the next video and subscribe if you guys are new around here because i do uh, minecraft snapshots i do many different many different videos and leave a like if you guys liked it and uh yeah that's uh it peace